my name is Reese Stone, and I'm a junior at Fairbury Junior Senior High School. Monopoly! And this is my poem, Your Leg Hurts, It's That Damn Phone. <laughs> I reach for you in the middle of the night when I can't sleep. I rush to get to school on time because you needed my full attention for just one more minute. My grades slip because I spend all my time daydreaming about when I can see you again. But when I'm alone, I think I might be better off without you, but you could never let me get that far away from you. If all these feelings are about something as simple as my phone, then why does this sound like the journal entry of a hopeless romantic? I digress. I wish I could remember what my life was like before I turned 12 and received you as a birthday gift. When I was 11, my friends and I would ride bikes from dawn till the streetlights turned on, rather than liking each other's messages and calling it a conversation. When I was a child, I studied how strangers treated, treated bugs to judge their character rather than how many followers they had. When I didn't have access to the internet, I was more worried about how the sun could still shine even when it was raining rather than every bad thing that has ever happened in the world. I'm starting to think our parents weren't exaggerating when they said, it's those damn phones. Because I miss the person I was before I met you. I miss my pre-internet brain. I want to be rid of you, but I'm afraid if I do, my friends will not speak to me because I am no longer in the loop. I'm afraid if I finally release myself from your grasp, I won't know which aesthetic is trending or how I need to change my taste in music to seem interesting that week. The theater is dark and the seats are empty, yet I perform anyways, because you, as the director of this play that is my life, make me feel like I have to just in case somebody views my online profile. This fake window into a fake life that I've created for myself, because you made me feel like the real thing wasn't good enough. Eventually, I started to see myself for what I was when someone said that your personality is a combination of everyone you've ever met because it made me think. Maybe the way I look was never because I use certain products on my skin or that I don't sleep on my side, something you told me I need to do to achieve a symmetrical, attractive look. Maybe the reason I look the way I do is because my features have been loved generation after generation. What if I wear these clothes because they're comfortable, not because you told me they were trendy? Maybe the person I was before I met you is buried deep inside me still, but she's just waiting till the coast is clear. She's waiting for me to pay attention to her needs instead of some fake audiences. She's waiting for me to put down that damn phone. <laughs>